so for those t tuning in, if anyone is around and actually shows up to a totally random, unplanned stream, um, I am not sleepy, even though it's like close to 11 p.m. So, if anyone's there, say hi in the chat. Nope, not going to the war room. And chat's being weird, so I have to refresh my screen. Um... Oh, I need to go to the hinterlands anyway. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's actually in the stream, so if you're there, please say hello. So I'm kind of bumming around in the hinterlands for a bit till I feel sleepy. Hopefully someone besides me will be in the stream. Um, oh hey, there's two people, so hello there. Um, I am just kind of putzing around in, in, in the hinterlands. So, feel free to say hello, don't say hello. Um, I am just messing around until I get tired. Damn it, I ran into the cook fire. I did not bring back that damn Druffalo either. So I think if I abandon, if I complete Act 1, then I abandon everything that's active. I put out the call to the farmers. I appreciate you driving those wolves away. Oh wow, my ch my stream is really fucked up. Um, I don't know why, but it. Um, it got really pixelated for a minute. Those refugees are going to defend them. They'll need real defense. I've got a few.
I've built watchtowers in the area um, you recommended. Nicely done. Hello to refugees and our farmers some warning next time uh, Al Matt, if you are in the I'll chat, I see that you master. just followed. I don't know if you came over from Dylan's stream, but hello. Um. Hoping I can talk Master Dennett into joining the Inquisition. Because I'm not sure if he'll do it with anyone I have in the party. Those watchtowers will keep my farmers and your refugees a lot safer. I've sent supplies to the crossroads. You've held up your end of our bargain, Inquisition. You'll have my whole stable and good hands to go with you. You sent your stable hands and your horses to the Inquisition. What about you? Well, you've cleaned up the area, and I can't say I'm not tempted. Still, it feels wrong to abandon my land to go play horse master again. Huh. Very well. I can't get anyone in my party to ask him to join the Inquisition. So if you're in the chat, please say hello. So I don't feel like I'm talking entirely to myself. Yes, that actually is Sarah that you see. Okay, I don't have deft hands fine tools, so there is no getting in that shed right now. Okay, so I'm going to swap out and get Vivian as much as I kind of despise taking her places. I will swap out the party and get Vivian and get Horsemaster Dennett. This might interest you, sir. I want to change the party. Okay, so folks that are um, watching. Say hi, don't bite much. Oops, went the wrong way. Oh, and I forgot I put Vivian in the Kunari attire. She's got some nice abs hiding under her robes. Hopefully I can still get Master Dennett to join us. I didn't just fuck it up by not having someone in the party that could convince him to join. This is not the first time I've played this game, however. I just don't know how it plays out if you don't... Good to see you, Inquisition. ...have um, anyone in the party that can talk him into it. Good to see you, Inquisition. You sent your stable hands and your horses to the Inquisition. What about you? Well, you've cleaned up the area, and I can't say I'm not tempted. Still, it feels wrong to abandon my land to go play horse master again. Enough. I can call in favors with a chevalier in Val and acquire an Orlesian horse master easily enough. The Orlesians? Hang that. No hopped up Orlesian pissboy knows more about horses than I do. All right, Inquisition. I'll look to your horses myself. Never let it be said that Redcliffe gave less than the best. Hello, Just folks watching. Here and say um, hey, you. Elven Glory. How are you? You've arrived just in time for me to recruit the Horsemaster Dennett. And now I'm going to go get Solus back in the party. And go do his orb thingy. Well, honestly, I don't have to, but... I could go get the stupid Druffalo. Yeah, I'm kind of awake, surprisingly, even though it's only 10 p.m. for me. Um, but I was kind of awake and figured, fuck it, why not? Let's have some DAI. Oh, and hey, there's a rift. I'd rather not. Let's re-bring the Druffalo back. Is that a 
to talk to this guy. Guess I can't. Well, how are you this fine evening, Elvin? I am not interested in black wall. Oh, hey, we could go get the fortress. Which means getting this camp unlocked. Um, so how are you? Thank you for coming by. At least I don't feel like I'm talking just to myself. Oh, it's the last camp in the hinterlands. Nope, not using the shard thingy. No, thank you. I am not okay with the shard thing. Oh, come on. I should be able to jump that on my canary. I'll tell the shot. Defense is up ahead. Somebody is ready for a fight. So ready to run into a fight and the first one killed. Salute. Oh, there's only two people. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Elven Glory. Like I said, this was a totally unplanned random stream. I just felt like it. Hey, how about I don't fall down and die? That would be bad. Huh, and that's where I'm trying to go. Damn it. Oh, wait, I can maybe get down there and not die. <laughs> well, okay. Ugh. Okay, well, I didn't die. That's the important part. Oh, come on. Bull, you're kill stealing. Bet there's more where that came from. So, how many times have you played Inquisition? Do you want to set up camp? <laughs> Ironbull, did you clean your weapon after the last fight? Uh, no. Odds are we're going to be killing something again in a few minutes. Besides, the blood stains are nice. scaring enemies. <laughs> Excuse me. Apparently, I have to blow my nose. They, you know, uh, uh, I'll go clean it. Thank you, darling. 
Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Um, what's been your favorite playthrough? Because I, I am that nerd that has played it quite a bit. And... Um, Oh, that's right, I don't get Night Enchanter yet. I'm trying to think of what you lose if you go and and fight for Haven at this point. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Knight Inquisitor. Um, female Lavella, nice. I am so not worried about black wall right now so tell me about your playthroughs I'm always curious about other people's playthroughs There's always one lone asshole out here. Like, how did you get the short straw to be patrolling by yourself? Okay, not big on uh, warrior archetype. Oh, this fortress. Okay. Now I know where I'm at. I usually go either for two-handed warriors or um, mages. Rogues are like my third class that I prefer. Okay, that's fair. Um, my first Lavellan first playthrough ever was a two-handed elf warrior. Yay, there's more people in the chat. Say hi, chat. Oh yeah, Max Trevel or yeah, Maxwell Trevelyan or Maximilian Trevelyan as I renamed him. Um I'm sorry, I am Enda, hello. Um I vaguely recall getting a map of some sort for over here. But I guess I am wrong. Yeah, I'm just kind of chilling and uh, can't sleep, so I figured I'd, I'd do a rando stream. And uh, is awesome. Yeah, chat it not chat. Um. Stream is being a little choppy, which I find weird because I'm playing on the PS4. Okay. 
all the romances for science. Okay, so I actually rolled up a lady elf to romance Solus, and I was OMFG bored. It's fine. It seems like just when I run into that it gets pixelated for me. Oh, hey. You are not my friend. Really? Okay, I, I need to learn the ways of Solus because I seriously tried to romance him and could not get into it. I don't know if I made the wrong choices um, or what I did, but Solus was not having it. I just am annoyed with him. And I'm annoyed with Blackwall because Blackwall's lying. I'm also taking a drink, which means I may go to sleep sooner than I want. Oh dear. Oh, hey, that's not where I wanted to go. Yeah, there was someone I followed. Do I still follow them is what I'm trying to remember. When the game first came out, they actually asked people to tag for Blackwall. And I don't remember what reason they gave for wanting people to tag Blackwall. I'm down with body. Not gonna pick up that armor and I'm gonna leave that under Oh you fucking fuck. You left a fire mine sitting around. And all for a dagger. That's not even worth it. Yeah, it was someone I eventually unfollowed on Tumblr just because they were hardcore into things that I was not in terms of fandom anymore. Oh shit, oh shit. This is like the Airshock fight. Um, and you know what? I am, I am not that interested in someone who's not posting anything that I don't care about. I mean, I think they actually had like a kind of legit reason to want Blackwall tagged. I just can't remember what it is. It wasn't a weird fandom thing that I would have normally been like, are you for real? Yay, there's more people. Welcome to this totally random, unplanned stream of Tanya Cannot Sleep. So hey, let's uh, let's have a rando stream of um, Inquisition. Oh yeah, who's the super hot guy mage going to romance? That I will take. The key to Valimar. Which I actually got before I talked to Varric. Oh yes. I'm um... I actually rolled this character just to romance Dorian to see if there was different... Um... Dialogue.
there was a little bit of extra dialogue. After I decided what the mages at Haven. They can be mages, and uh, um, canonically, they are called Cerebas, um, and Canari mages are trussed up more than um, other mages, like their, their mouths are actually sewn shut. Um, shit, where was I? Um, I've romanced Cass with Max Trevelyan. Um... And she became divine, so it was very sad. And then Trespasser happened. Wow, shit. Okay, so Valimar. Valimar's where you go with Bianca. You mean in Origins? Oh, you mean, oh, it's Divine. I've gotten Liliana's Divine once or twice. I got Viviana's Divine entirely by accident. Like, I legit put no effort, and somehow she was divine. Oh. Hmm. I always wind up... You know, I know I felt a kind of way about Viv is Divine, but I also feel a kind of way about Vivian in general. Um, I don't feel like running back down that way, so I'm just gonna... Oh, hey, I should go to a camp. So, if you don't mind... A spoiler... I can tell you what happens with her is divine. Um... I'm working on how I feel about Vivian. Keep saying I'm gonna change my mind and try to like her, and I've yet to accomplish that. Sorry, I had an itchy ear. And when you're wearing headphones, it's kind of difficult. Sharif, welcome. How are you? Y'all should follow Sharif. He's awesome. He does a great web series called Gaming Looks Good. And he writes a lot about tech diversity and STEM. So go follow Sharif.
I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to laugh. I looked at Twitter. Um. Um. And someone highlighted part of part of my article on Medium, and I was being salty. I was being incredibly salty. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you saw it, Sharif. Um, I'm sorry, that just made me giggle because I am just like, um, yeah, I just, I got, I got nothing, man, because I had to laugh. That was funny. Sorry for the interruption in the DIA. <laughs> shenanigans yes and Inda is awesome as well and has a podcast called Black Girl Squee sorry I, I was distracted laughing at my own bullshit um, um, I've already talked to you yeah yeah Ritz um, and then Sharif is actually on two podcasts um, his own podcast that he has with JP Fairfield called um, Operation Cubicle. I'm sure if you are a mod, so feel free to drop a link in your chat, in the chat, to your podcast. Um, he's also just officially joined as a third person. He's Spawn on Me podcast. Okay. Dude, I just kind of had a moment. I was full of salt. Like, like salty Tanya showed up to the party, cause I got one too many DMs asking me for for some free time and labor and advice. And I'm like, nah, bro, nah. Considering I can't get some conventions to even comp registration, especially comp for the conventions don't even cost that fucking much. Um, I'm gonna be shady. And save the girl con. Um, like your convention doesn't even cost that much money. How the fuck are you gonna charge me if I'm if I'm flying from one coast to the other, spending a lot of money, and then you can't even count me thirty five dollars? Cause I am I'm over it. <laughs> Cause Salty Tanya showed up today. And the thing is, I had, it's not anything new or original. And to totally, totally, uh, drop a link to your show. Not just Sharif. Oh shit! I did what I always do. I pin pigeonhole myself. Um. I have gone in an entire circle. This is where I'm trying to go. So how about this? Well, it's like, even if I was planning to go as an attendee, um, We need to, you know, tell people, yes, I was coming to your convention anyway, but when you're on panels, it adds another dimension of prep and work you have to do. You know, and especially if you're invited or something. You know, usually when you're invited, especially as a guest of honor, they do comp your flight and hotel. Um, but not everybody can be a guest of honor at a convention. Um, so. 
so it's often um and Ender, can you throw a link in the chat to my podcast please if you don't mind um I just look at it as, yes, I was going to your convention anyway, however, um, the time it takes to put together a good panel, to do the work, to do the research, to plan for it is not insignificant. So when you are looking at the time it will take someone to provide content for you, at the very least, especially at a conference that is more expensive, like GDC costs $1,600 for an all access pass. And that is the early bird rate that is prior to like anything else of just a regular registration. God damn it, I'm in the same place. Sorry. Um, um, I have gone in a circle again. What the fuck? See, this is why I don't leave the party anywhere, because I will get us all lost in guilt. Um, yeah, no. So, shit. Let us go the long way. Around the mountain. Because Tanya cannot navigate. Oh, hey, but I found a chest. Um, as I was saying. Let's say, let's, let's use WizCon, for example. Now this has turned into me venting, so if you want me to stop, please say so in the chat. Uh, but I can also kind of play DAI with my eyes closed. I know I have, because I've nodded out before while playing it. Um, let's say you go to a convention, even if you're on two panels... Um, and you're moderating one, participating in the other. <laughs> okay, Sharif. Um, I gotta get on Operation Cubicle with you and JP. We need to have a, a mutual vent session about this. Oh, shit. Um, I'm like level 9 or 10, I think. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm only level 8. Um, but, but as I was saying, like, take something like WizCon, for instance. Assuming you, you know, let's say you spend a couple hours, or, you know, god damn it, it is that same house. Um, um, I just got turned around. Um, let's say you spend an hour on writing your session, pa your panel proposal. Then you spend six to twelve hours prepping for the panel itself. And then seventy-five minutes of the panel. And then follow up. You're looking at about, you know, a day's worth of work, if you are honest about it. Um depending on how much work you put into preparing a panel. I know not a lot of people put the same amount of time into putting together panels and it shows in my sort of, kind of, quasi-professional opinion because I've been doing convention stuff for so fucking long. Um, but when people don't put in the work, it definitely shows. Yeah, Chromatic Life has not recorded since November when we recorded with um, Tarik, and then he lost his audio got through the whole thing and did not realize he had not um, his audio had stopped
Yeah, and it was such a good fucking conversation. Um, we were trying to reschedule, but... Just didn't quite work out, and it's been hard to catch him. I don't know if it's just time zone, or he's just not feeling trying to do that again, because it was like an hour and a half of conversation that we lost. Oh, Sharif, you totally need to be on the show again. Um... I guess I made sense in my angry rambling. Yay. Yeah, in theory, we're recording again. February 11th. Huh. Now it's a haven it's weird plants. to come here Absolutely. and not have Bianca and Varric with me. Um. Oh, hey, fucker, why are you hiding behind that pillar? Okay, I just. The one thing I always worry about is I. I want, oh, God, I hate that. Um. I always worry that I am kind of repeating myself, because especially when I write things when I'm in my feelings. I'm just like, um, I made the same point like four times. I, th I think people will get it. Maybe. I don't know. But apparently, I, I do really write stuff that resonates with people when I'm like, all in my feelings about things. Yeah, my only concern slash not even worry is Whenever I cross post things, I always get well meaning people who don't understand how some things work and doing the whole, but this never happens to me, or, um, Might be more my thing. Or they want to do the whole quantifying and blah blah blah. I don't have the energy for that argument on my timeline, especially not on Facebook. Um, but I always get people that want to try to quantify things. It's actually got better. No, this actually has better. Of course, the one thing I did not pick up is a better bow. 
Oh, I did put, oh, damn it. She is not high enough level. Reading what? Elven Rogue. It is the Shine Inquisition. Even look at WizCon. As much as I love WizCon, you do not get fully comped for paneling. You get X amount refunded after the fact. And same for volunteering. You know, volunteering is all well and good because volunteering is how a lot of people can get to conventions. Um, but that often means, you know, you, you're paying double because you have to spend X number of hours, um, you know, giving to the convention so you can attend the convention. Sorry I'm being a shit on Facebook. Yeah, um, with WizCon, even if you panel, you only get X amount back. Um... Um, okay, so I don't, <clears throat> I cannot suss out your actual identity from your Twitch handle, Elvin, so if we know each other offline, I greatly apologize, because um, not all the time people's Twitter handle, Twitch handle, everything else, um, Um, so... Oh, okay! Now I get it. I was like, I must know you, somehow. Um... That makes more sense. Um... So, Donna Pryor, who is Denicia on Twitter and other places. Um re-shared my post on her Facebook page because we're also Facebook friends and oh I can't pick up the Dwarven gear oh well I'm probably not going to do all that right now um, and then someone <clears throat> replied on her Facebook wall can I get those three minutes back and I was like how about you spend the other two uh, no, I was like, well, instead of five minute read, how about you spend those other two minutes so you can understand what I was saying? Because I'm a little shit some days. Okay, a lot of days. Because here's the thing. No one forced you to read it. 
And if you want to say something smart, how about you not put it in a place where the author will see you? And I have just gone the entirely the wrong way. Um, and I, I wrote what I wrote because, one, I still get a lot of people who want time and expertise for free. Or, or they go, oh, I want to diversify and blah, 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 but <laughs> I was talking to a friend this weekend who was at a conference slash convention. It's more really what they call an unconference and was approached along with other POC in attendance about diversifying and making, you know, his company better. Did not offer to pay her. Um, however, did offer to pay a white woman in attendance. To help diversify. So, yeah. <laughs> Running has never been an interest for me. Why does Pinterest think I care? And <laughs> Donna liked it. That is hilarious. Oh, and they thought they were being funny. How cute. Oh, they thought they were being cute with, oh, I disagreed with it. Do you want me to pay you for that time? And I was like, you're not worth the time to uh, whip out the good snark. Enjoy your block. I'm sorry if you think you're Dark funny. Coming up through here. Well, let's see this before more join us. I am so not worried about you. Oh shit! Good job, Sarah. Feel that tunnel. You know, that's the one attack I am really not. Concerned with. It's not clever, and I was like... Why would you think that was appropriate to say some shit like that to me? I'm like, oh, that's where we're at today? Okay, fuck you. Um,
Oh, I can't get in here until um, I do the mission with Varric and Bianca. So I've kind of clean. What the? Who's left? Who the fuck is left here? Or is that someone in there that I can't get to yet? Oh, time to go. I'm sure I'll run into the rest of these people when I come back to Valimar. Yeah, I'll leave the gears for later. There's not much in there except a bunch of treasure. <laughs> hey, Flyer Maria. Thank you for the host. I'm just kind of puttering around until... Well, I'm just kind of puttering around because I'm awake. But I need to go back to Skyhold and unload stuff. Um, and I can't do that inside this map, so I need to get out. Um, and then I might just do In This Heart Shall Burn if I can finally beat it at a higher difficulty. Excuse me. How are you this evening? Welcome. Welcome to the rando bonus stream, because I cannot sleep. I mean, I could sleep, but I'm not sleepy. Normally I'm like nodding out in my chair by 10 o'clock. Don't get older. At least not <laughs> in the shape I'm in. See what else there is to do. Let's see if I can also stop catching myself um, on the dam. table. Sorry, I'm being a little shit again on. Um. I'm also multitasking. I apologize. I should stop doing that when I stream, but I'm also sitting right in front of my computer. So it's hard not to, especially, oh yay, Mickey retweeted me. Oh, 
Daniel Older. Oh my god, you are such... Um, you are so wrong. Aw, bye, Elvin. I will talk to you soon, or talk Elfie to me. It took me a minute to put two and two together. Yeah, I may not be streaming that much longer. It's like quarter to 11 for me, but I'm just kind of like bumming around and... in the hinterlands um tomorrow is a get out of the house and work on writing day because i have an article third set of revisions due um Word for you. I'm getting to the point where I might be a little irritated. But I know if I sit at home, I will not get what I need to get done. Because I'm slowly becoming more of a hermit. I think even if I'm not sleepy, I may call the stream at 11.30, but that's like, you know, 40 minutes from now. Because I'm also sipping on cider while I stream, and that's kind of guaranteed to put me to sleep. So, yeah. I guess he needs to get up and do laundry tomorrow. This kid. So I've hit that, I need to do laundry or I will have to go out naked point. After this, I really should go back to Skyhold and unload some of this shit. Scout coat legs will come in handy. And some Drake Stone. No shit, Shades. expected. Or I may call the stream at 11, I don't know. Because the fight for Haven um, is not a short fight. And I um, I always have Difficulty?
even on easy, so yeah. Because even on easy, it still takes me about a half hour to do. And I usually kind of have to nope out on normal, but I'm trying not to do that this time. Um, but I'll definitely be streaming on Thursday. Um, not tomorrow, because tomorrow is writing and podcast day. Because I really want to finish this this article for Zam and get it off my plate. So I have Thursday kind of to myself to do some Patreon writing, which is way overdue. And I don't want people to yell at me. Um, Yeah, but I think I'm gonna get back to Skyhold. Or Haven. I'm not at Skyhold yet. Um, so I keep looking for the damn Inquisitor power. Um, and I don't have it yet. Get back to Haven. Flirt with Dorian a bit. Because this is the playthrough where I It is. It is ridiculously a tough battle, and I just, I'm, it's 11 o'clock at night, I should not be trying tough battles. I should go sell a bunch of crap. Sell the balance bomb all. I don't think the specialist crust actually does anything. Sigil of the Tusket. And this sounds silly, but I keep the starting weapons <laughs> through the whole game. Nothing for Bianca. I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of... Um, I feel like it's almost silly and sentimental.
you know? Like, it, it, it's... I don't know, I just feel a little, like, silly about it when I think about it, because that's just taking up inventory space, because you don't have the storage chest till you get to Skyhold. Or if you do have it here, I don't know where it is. I mean, you can, and I wish there was, and maybe there is an option on PC or a mod on PC. Hello, Salted Snail. Um, I think so. It If you like high fantasy and RPGs, I think you'll enjoy it. If you've played the other games, I think you will enjoy it. Um... I don't know how much of a lore nerd you might be for Inquisition or for Dragon Age overall, but I greatly like it. I took a week off when it when it launched, and I I really enjoy open world RPGs. Like I played Skyrim a lot. I played the first um, few Dragon Age games quite a bit. Um It seems strange that an entire empire would be ruled by mages. Strange? Why are you less qualified to rule than some tart with a fancy crown? <laughs> Actually, the fiction in the Imperium is that mages don't rule. The magisterium rules. That magisters are all mages is considered a convenient technicality. What is the Magisterium, exactly? <laughs> you are welcome for the random stream. The only part worth having a seat on. Those seats are split among the circles of Magi, the Chantry, and the Major families. All Majors now. It's odd that outside the Imperium, you use Magister like it applies to every Tevinter Mage. If you're not a Magister, then what are you called? No special title. I'm an Altus, which is almost as good as a Magister, depending on who you ask. Um. I've never heard of an Altus. I would say. From the dreamers, the first if the you gods. feel like it, and it's man, hard because I know a lot of people don't like Dragon Age 2. Because it did come out fairly quickly after Dragon Age um, Awakenings, and in a lot of people felt it was rushed. There were a lot of things that were repetitive. Um, but I think the I Legacy the DLC and the, the base Imperium. game gives you context for what's going on yes. here. I don't think playing Dragon Age Origins is necessarily required to get it. Um, it's very open world, you get some characters, but I think the writing is not as strong as in Dragon Age 2. Um, like for instance, you can, once again, play a non-human player character. Um, but a lot of your choices don't seem to have, um, um, Maybe you're even a slave. The idea that anyone could be a mage, however, keeps the masses split. Um. Sorry, I lost my train O thought. Um. Can anyone be a mage? Potential runs mostly in bloodlines, but it's been known to I think the character development and writing and storytelling is better in two, so I would start with two just so you have a base. Um, I know that a couple people are sh playing it without having touched Dragon Age before. Um, I honestly would say you can skip DAO, DA, DAO Awakenings, the, the expansion. Play two and the legacy DLC, so you have a context for the kind of continued storyline that's going on here. It is very open world. If that is an issue, um, I know Fallout Four is very open world, but you know dragons and bears and spiders might eat you. Um, I would say if you know someone with share play, if you're going to play on PS4. 
with its own device. For, when you before you make a decision about Inquisition, otherwise. Fine, are you? If you mention him outside the Imperium, people make that face, like you're urinating in public. But yes, you do have the Chantry. Um, I'm, well, I do, like Dad. That's true, but I don't want to assume other people's interests or ability to jump in on a franchise the third game in. We don't call him that, oh no. In the Imperium, he's the true divine. That the is me. The woman sitting on the Sunburst throne is some backwater pretender. It all stems from a disagreement over Andraste. Marvelous, isn't it? Um... Why would they disagree over Andraste? It's not my field of expertise, but the Imperium believes Andraste was a mortal woman. Um, and, and R9, is that NVIDIA or, um, no, the AMD? The maker, ascended to his side, divine provenance, blah, blah, blah. We feel so I'm guessing a 380 Andraste doesn't have that much processing power. You may not get very good graphics. Because so I think the recommendation is at least a 1 gig card. Um, so the Imperial Divine is always um, what's the processing power on? Is it like one gig, two gigs, less than a gig processing on the on the card itself? Why can't they be? Or memory, I should say, on the card itself. Same reason you never see a man on the sunburst throne, because that's how it's always been done. Because I've got 16 gigs of RAM, a four gig video card. Oh yeah, you're totally fine. I was worried it was like a lower lower um, capacity card. You are totally fine. Um, it also depends on how much memory you have in your system. But with a 4 gig card, you should be pretty good to play at least on high settings. Because the game is fully patched at this point. Um, excuse me. Consider yourself Andrastian? Yeah, um, I've actually, before you go, Salted Snail, I've Big got question. some play from it PC up on my YouTube, which, um, I simply do not believe in the I can link you so you can kind of see what it looks like on PC with, with, a, with a pretty good card. I share your opinion, actually. That's not surprising, considering what the Inquisition represents. I'll say this. That is some PC playthrough with ultra settings. In me. I do have some mods in, though. So that's the cool thing about playing on PC. You can get some mods in. You are what we needed most. If you ever have mod questions, just shoot me a message. Usually, Twitter is better. I'm not always good about Twitch messages. I'm not sure about that myself. Doubt is good. I like doubt. It mm. will keep you sane. Me? I've seen oh, so then... much to believe I know everything. Well the thing with um Inquisition, you can't use the Nexus mod manager. There's the some thing modding thing guides um, on how to do it, but now the game is fully patched and they probably won't update it unless something no else random comes out or they do some last minute tweaks. You should not have to worry about an update coming along and messing up your um, mods. So. Is the Imperial I'm just chatting up Dorian because I am going to the main romance. Is the whole um, man going to romance Dorian because I think there's like the different um, options or text you get um, when you are a Telvishoth mage. There are circles of magi in the Imperium? We don't have dismal little mage prisons, if that's what you mean. They're academies, prestigious ones. We have Templars as well, but they don't cancel spells or whatever your Templars do. They're soldiers. They don't use lyrium? Ha! As if there'd be any left for them. They watch for abuse of magic, yes, 
but only those who are weak or who fall out of favor get dealt with. Mostly they enforce the Magisterium's edicts. The Chantry smiles and nods from the sidelines. Let me ask you something else. I think I've so burned points. all my... Oh, I did not I burn all my would be a useful options. I think you'd be more concerned whether or not they'd support the Venatori. They won't. At least, not officially. They'll disavow all knowledge of dangerous cultists. Secretly, many Magisters will rejoice at the idea. And if the South falls to chaos in the meantime, all the better. It would be in the Imperium's best interest to help. Surely, it could use allies. I think the Imperium gave up on the idea of allies a long time ago. We've been fighting the. I always kind of worry when things have gone semi. It's a point of pride that we go it alone. They'll sneer at the South behind their silk handkerchiefs and say, "You've had it easy for far too long." Let's not forget that the Inquisition seems to be an arm of the Olesian Chantry. Anathema, so far as they're concerned. We're not part of the Chantry. The Chantry opposed the Inquisition's formation. You think that matters? Don't be silly. The Herald of Andraste. Your very title smacks of the Southern Chantry. You may as well be a heathen. I think they're far more frightened what you'll do if you succeed. Um, not all the conversations are that long. Um, there's a lot of preliminary dialogue. And after um, a couple of big events in the game, because this is actually nowhere near all of his dialogue, um, something you need? Yeah, I've exhausted my dialogue with with Dorian for now. Um, okay, let's check in on the Chantry and save, and we are good. Um, it depends, like when you first meet a character you might get a lot of di initial dialogue, but after you've talked to them often enough you will exhaust some of your dialogue options. Um, but dialogue, or Dorian is rather chatty, especially when you first recruit him. Yeah, if you uh, want, if you have other questions, like I said, Twitter is probably the better um, option to reach me. My scouts are posted on the ridges in case there's any trouble. I am not one lick invested to work. Nope, Sebastian can wait. Okay, I have done some stuff. Thursday, I might pick up and um, defend Haven, or depending on how you look at it, try to save Haven. 
Um, but tomorrow is an off day for streaming. Thank you for stopping by. If you follow and get alerts, you can get an email when I start streaming. Talk to you later. Bye.